competing all my life as a skier, I think I learned a certain drive to be the best. I'm competitive. I wanted to be the best skier. I want to have the best wine store. If someone opened up down the street, I'd be like, well, we need to be better than them. When I first thought of my shop, to me, it was a way of connecting with the community. I want to be that person that people come to. And I want to hear their story. I want to hear what they did that day. My dad definitely made a decision to raise his kids as skiers to love the mountains and be out there skiing. I started competing when I was five years old and traveling to Europe beginning when I was 13. I traveled with the U.S. ski team for six years. I went on to, to make the world championship team in 1995, and then that was a big goal, and I was like, you know, I finally did it. I knew going into that season it was going to be my last year. I was ready to retire. We drove down to Napa Valley and I just fell in love with the green and the flowers and the lifestyle of wine. And I just started reading everything I could about wine. The company hired me based upon my liberal arts education, not because I really knew anything about wine. I was trying, and, and they saw that. They saw that I had a passion for it. They brought importers and winemakers. The learning curve was just exponential. You really had to know what was in the wine, what the grape varieties were, what the winemaking techniques were, who the winemakers were, why were they different, why were they better. I had a great first year and I was like, okay, I want to continue doing this. Then September 11th happened. And we went in the first year to having people driving in and loading up their Suburbans and then going to their ski homes to people not having that kind of income anymore. And so it was tough after September 11th for the next few years. You know, with, with the way the economy went, we both kind of decided, well, one of us is going to be an entrepreneur and the other one has to bring home the steady paycheck and have the health insurance. So he found another job. And with this one, I would recommend one of the goat cheeses. We had to get a new liquor license, and we started doing wines by the glass and cheese plates so people could sit down after skiing and have a cheese plate. We could have winemakers come and talk about the wines and the cheeses. We do a lot of flights, so people try three different wines, and then they decide themselves what they prefer, and then they go buy the wine. So it, the business kind of all works together. Retail wine doesn't have that much of a margin. So when we created Breckenridge Cheese and Chocolate, it really helped the business go to a whole new level. I love wine. I think that's the thing about wine. You kind of fall in love with it and you fall in love with the stories. Same with skiing. Get up in the morning and it's a powder day. Let's go.